Hello students, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe Engineers Academy if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 4, Tabular Statics. And the problem st says that old clocks were constructed using a fusi B. This is fusi B to drive the gaze and watch hands. The purpose of the fusi is to increase the leverage developed by the mainspring A is it uncoils and thereby loses some of its tension the main spring can develop a torque of ts equals to k theta where k is the spring constant that is 0.015 newton meter per radian and this is the torsional stiffness and theta is the angle of twist of the spring in radians if the torque tf by the fusi is to remain constant this is important tf remains constant as the main spring winds down and x is equal to 10 this is x the radius of this fusi varies so this is that x this is the radius and theta is 4 radians determine the required radius of the fusi when theta equals to 3 radians now if we look into this whole mechanism from the top and if we draw the free body diagram so this uh, main spring will look like this and the ts is ts is like this that is the counterclockwise and similarly uh, tf is like this. this this is tf and this is ts and now since both of these are connected through this so we will have that same for force f so this is this force f and this force f they will, that will remain constant for both the fusi b and the main spring now it is said that when when x is equal to 10 mm so x is the radius of the fusi b right so let's say that when x is equal to 10 mm theta is 4 radian so first of all we have to find ts when theta is 4 radian so ts the the torque or the moment of the main spring that is equal to k theta it is given here this is k theta now k is given that is 0 0.015 so we can write that this is 0 0.015 and theta is 4 radians so this will give us 0 0.015 multiplied by 4 this gives us 0 0.06 0 0.06 and the units will be since this this is newton meter per radian so that will be in newton meter this is newton meter now since we have to find this tf so as we know that tf this will be equal to the force that same force f times the radius right so the radius of this is x this is x so we have to multiply this with x so we can write that this is x multiplied by f now we have to find that f so we can find that f using this ts and using the radius of this ts the radius of this is given this is 12 so from this we can write that this radius this is 12 mm or in meters this is 0.012 so i will write that the radius of this is 0.012 meters so now we know ts so first from ts we can find that force f so we can write that ts this is equal to f or we can say that rf so r is known so i will write that this is f into r and r is 0 0.012 and that is equal to 0 0.06 so that f is equal to 0 0.06 divided by 0 0.012 so 0 0.06 divided by 0 0.012 this gives us 5 newton so force f is 5 newton when theta is equal to 4 radians now we know we know that force f which is constant among both the springs so we can find tf using this equation so tf this tf this is equal to x x is x is given that is 10 mm so 10 divided by 1000 is 0 0.01 multiply by force f so this is that force f this is 5 newton so i will multiply it with 5 so 0 0.01 multiply by 5 this will give us 0 0.05 so this is 0 0.05 0 
0.05 newton meter now it is said that the tf remains constant if tf developed by the fusi is to remain constant so this is that constant tf let me write here that this is constant now when theta is 3 radians we have to find uh, the x the radius of fusi b at that particular when theta uh, theta equals to 3 radians now when theta is when theta equals to 3 radian again we have to find that force f so so force f will change since ts will change so ts is equal to rf now we know that this is f times r right the perpendicular distance r the moment arm is r so r is 0 0.012 and r into f multiply by this is ts which is this is this is equal to k theta right and now k is given that is 0 0.015 and now theta is 3 radians so we can put that theta but first i will write the equation so now f is equal to 0 0.015 theta divided by that radius now we can write that 0 0.015 theta is 3 radians and the radius of the mainspring is constant which is 12 mm so that is 0 0.012 in meters so this is uh, 0 0.015 multiplied by 3 divided by 0 0.012 so this gives us force equals to 3.75 newton now initially the force for 4 radians the force was 5 newton now the force is 3.75 newton so now uh, what will happen is that to to keep that tf constant now the radius will increase since the tf is equal to x into f so now if f decreases x will increase so we have to find that x now we know that tf is equal to x into f so i will write that tf is x into f and we know that tf value from here which is constant that is equal to 0 0.05 that is 0 0.05 so now from this we can write that that x is 0 0.05 divided by f and now when theta is 3 radians the force is decreased from 5 newtons to 3.75 so we have to put this f value in this equation so this x which is the radius of the fusi b when theta is 3 radians that will be 0 0.05 divided by 3.75 this is when theta is 3 radians so that is 0 0.05 0 0.05 divided by 3.75 this gives us 0 0.013 so x is equal to 0 0.0133 and this is in meters and if you want to convert it into mm so one meter equal to thousand mm so we have to multiply that answer with thousand so that would give us the answer in mm so answer multiply by thousand so that is 13.33 so 13.33 mm so when theta is 3 radians and tf which need to be remain constant that is equal to 0 0.05 newton meter then the radius of the fusi b need to be 13.33 mm so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe Engineers Academy if it helps in your learning.